Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you may have sort of the gaming dragon today. I'm coming at you with a new Let's Play series on Shelter. That's right, y'all, I'm finally playing Shelter. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Oh, before we do that, I want to just remind y'all that the Patreon is up for as low as $5. You can uh, get some awesome exclusive rewards. We've got bronze, silver, and gold tier. Each one of those tiers gets access to our private Discord server. Or we can do all kinds of stuff. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Playing the censored version. Okay. But, some not, uh, I'm going to be putting some not safe for work videos on, on, up on the Patreon. You know, it's probably some of the best of moments of the, of all the uh, VNs I've played so far. Some of the juiciest bits, completely uncensored. Anyway cold, endless white, as far as the eye can see. A few years ago, in the midst of it all, we discovered something incredible. Unexplainable relics of an unknown past buried under the snow. Powerful magitech tools and fascinating structures we're struggling to understand. Ever since then, men from all around the continent have been gathering to uncover what's hidden here. Driven by curiosity and the promise of wealth, they put their lives on the line against the blizzards and the dangerous monsters living here, on the hope to claim this land's treasures. <laughs> However, everything else we have found so far pales in comparison to our very first discovery. Our greatest treasure, the one that makes it all possible. Shelter. Our new home. In the midst of this cold, endless white, as far as the eye can see. Ooh, pretty. We found warmth. Oh, everyone! We're Bark! Oh my god, so many dog puns. Early morning. Oh my god. With loud, lively shouts, a group of canine warriors enters the tavern. All the tavern's patrons turn to look at the entrance, and they greet the newcomers with cheerful barks and howls. What a wonderful surprise! It's always a great occasion to celebrate when people manage to come back from their expeditions on those dangerous, freezing wastelands outside. In the front of the group stands a big Tosa Inu, Tosa Inu dog, Teak. Wearing a thick winter coat and with a big backpack on his back, he laughs in high spirits. Ha! It's so great to be able to smell all these scents again. I missed you all, you stinky bastards. It was nothing but snow and wind outside for weeks. And monsters! Ha <laughs> ha! That's not all you- that's not all you found, right, little Teak? From a, from a seat a few tables away, a big husky waves at Teak, the traveler. Chief Rune! Come, drink with me! Tell me all about your trip! With a wide smile on his face and a vigorously wagging tail, Teak, Teak the traveler hurries to the husky's sable. Husky's table, not sable. <laughs> He's so excited that he bumps a few other dogs on his way with his backpack. One of them, a middle-aged terrier, spills his ale on himself. Hey! Watch it, mutt! Teak, <laughs> Teak turns to the other dog and gives an intimidating stare with a nasty growl. He's the biggest and scariest dog in the room. You got a problem? The poor terrier puts his ears down flat and leans away, terrified. I, I mean, you could be a little more... Huh? Speak up! That's not what I heard you say! Teak, no fu... Take no fighting in the tavern. Leave that for the training grounds. Spare the man's life like a good little boy and sit down. Come on, buddy, come here. Teak gives the terrier a stink eye with a quiet growl before he continues walking towards the husky. He takes his backpack off, sets it down on the floor by the bench, and sits down. His expression brightens up and his tail wags again as soon as he looks at Rune the husky. Chief! Ha <laughs> ha, look at you. I see that everyone from your pack came back this time. That's amazing. Told you it'd be fine. Yes. Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Chief. Your sword fighting lessons in these past few months have made all the difference. That saved my life when I got separated from my pack. A monster attacked me. But it was alone as well, so I managed to fend it off. All on my own. Really? All on your own? Ha! Ah, that's so nice, Teak. Our puppy is growing fast, so fast. I knew you would do great out there. Rune leans over the table and pets the huge dog's head. There's so much mutual pride in that gesture. I can only do so well because you taught me well, Chief. And because I knew I had a place to come back to. Still, I wish you could be out there with us. I know you do, Teak. Actually, I think I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna do this, actually. I know you do, Teak. But I'm not going anywhere. My place is here at Shelter. A huge tin can full of dogs won't keep it... won't keep order on its own, right? Besides, I really don't care about the outside. I'm happy here. Second y'all, water time. What? Only three save slots? 
you want to see my handsome face, you must have to come back here safely every time. As he says that, Rune leans over the table yet again and boops Teak's snoot. Both of them wag. How's it possible for two Scarface beefcakes to be so adorable? I, I know, Chief. That's why I brought some gifts. We found a lot of stuff. I want you to have something. Oh? Teak opens his backpack and rummages through its contents. It takes him some time, and he gets increasingly frustrated as he takes out more and more items that he sets on the table. A sharpening stone, a flint, two spare torches, and then a bunch of relics. A knife with teeth on one side of the blade, a small cylindrical box with a display. That is a fucking pipe bomb. Oh, that's a pipe bomb. A confusing, long, intricate stick. Everything made of metal. Arrgh. I'm sure I had it here. I know I had it with me yesterday. Arrgh. What the hell is it? He slams the table with his fist, making Rune's mug of ale bounce up half a foot again, half a foot high. The husky grabs it midair with, and, with inhuman, and with inhuman precision swings it in an arc, catching all the liquid back into the container before it splashes on the table. Then, yet another thing lands on the table, right in front of Teak. A bowl of steaming hot meat stew. Is this perhaps what you were looking for? <gasps> Burry, sir! Is this... Just some leftovers on the house. We're glad to see you back. I... I love leftovers, it's my favorite! I need up, I'll get, I'll get some for the rest of your pack, too. Wait, Burry, sir, please, I have something for you, too! Oh? Teak grabs a knife by the edge and presents the handle end to Burry, the St. Bernard dog. I found this knife. It's in really good condition. Hmm. That's... yeah, that's a really good knife, Teak. Are you sure? I can clearly smell some magic on it. I think it will do more good in your hands on your trips outside. No, not at all. I want you to have it. Your delicious cooking is one of the things I look forward to most when I'm on my way back to shelter. That's something we can't have anywhere else in the world, and that's what gives us strength to push through the cold and come back every time. It's our oasis in the snow. You really have no need for it, I understand. But if you can use it to make even more delicious food, then please take it. Totally deep in thoughts, Burry takes a Burry stares at Teak holding the magic blade with a face full of anticipation. The Saint Bernard opens his mouth to say something, but then he stops himself. He sighs and smiles instead. Of course, I can use it. This is a wonderful gift, Teak. Thank you. You're such a good boy. Let me know when you're done eating, and I'll get you seconds, okay? Burry takes the knife and ruffles the top of Teak's head with fondness while runes. While Rune sips from his mug with a wide grin. Three of the biggest dogs at the tavern together, showing affection and wagging with so much happiness. This is the kind of sight you can only witness here in shelter. So adorable. Big dogs are the best. Eventually, Burry leaves to tend to the other travelers. It leaves Teak with the still running a grinning Rune. So, one of the things you look forward to, huh? Hmm? I wonder. What could be the one thing you look forward to the most, eh, Teak? Chief, what are you... something or someone, eh? Eh? <laughs> don't worry about the, don't worry about any guests for me. Most importantly, have you brought anything for him? Y yeah, this weird beeping instrument here. But I'm waiting until later for skies of a... That's great! He's right here, he's right there! Talking about... talking with your pack mates! Hey, Max! Max! Come here! Awoo! Chief, no! Teak tries to stop Rune from shouting, but he's too late. Max the Doshend is... Max the Doshend is already on his way towards our table. Take it out. Water time. Lord, this game is adorable as hell. Poor Teak. Looks like he's about to cry. With panic in his eyes, he stare... He first stares at the table with his pack mates, then at Rune's face. All the while, the husky wag's really proud of himself. You, you really shouldn't have! You can't thank me, you can thank me later. Now, work your charm, floppy ears. You got this. A woo, Teak! Welcome, Bark! God, Jesus Christ. So many puns! A short dosh. Short dachshund. Dachshund. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Dachshund. A short dachshund with a loot on his back approaches Teak in Rune's table. Compared to Rune, Teak, and Burry, Max is a much smaller dog. Still, he greets him with confidence and familiarity. Hey, Max, thanks. I, um. I heard a lot about you. Your pack's been telling me all about your trip. <laughs> yeah? Wait, what did they tell you exactly? Teak tries to keep a smile on, on, but there's noticeable nervousness twitching on his face. Is he worried about something? Well, like, they praised you a lot. You became more cooperative. You communicate with your packmates and you can reach compromises together. And you actually treat the other dogs with care and kindness. Teak's expression brightens up and his chest relaxes in a sigh of relief. I see, I see. 
Uh huh. At least most of the time. Because I also heard you ha heard how you separated from separated from them over a petty fight and almost got everyone killed. They had to fend off a monster attack without you, their strongest fighter. Duke lost all of his loot and equipment, and Cooper got bitten three times. He lost a half of his tail. Big Dog's smile drops instantly. His eye twitches and he gulps audibly. He tries to reply, but he looks away and stays silent. Uh, but then you returned and helped everyone. You shared your equipment with Duke and carried Cooper on your back all the way to shelter. And most importantly, you apologized. It doesn't make up for putting them in danger in the first place, but it takes a big heart and a lot of courage to voice out remorse. They want to give you another chance. They like having you around. Max wags his tail and, and, and he presents his clenched fist to Teak. I'm proud of you, Teak. I always knew you were a good dog. Teak looks up, looks up with a renewed sparkle in his eyes. He smiles and bumps Max's tiny fist with his massive glove one gently. Thank you. That means a lot, coming from you. You know, Teak has a gift for you, Max. You, sh you two should totally hook up. What? A gift? Really? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to wait uh, wait for Skies Ablaze tonight to give it to you. That's why we hurried back here today. But I guess now's as good a time as any. Teak grabs another relics off the table. This time it's a cylindrical box with a small display. That is a bomb! Do not give that to him! He helps at it a couple times and wipes with his sleeve to make it shine. And he offers it to Max. It's just a little piece of junk. Nothing much. But I hope you'll like it. Max stares at it for a moment and gets a hold of it gently. He looks at, he looks it over from all sides. It's really pretty. What does it do? See these little nubs? Press this one or any of these. Look. Hmm? Oh, no. <laughs> it plays notes. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty well animated. Oh, wow. It makes sounds like the displays by the doors around shelter, but this is portable. Max is having a blast mashing buttons of his new toy, and Teak evidently enjoys watching him. Big Dog wags and a smile full of pride is plastered over his muzzle. You like it? Teak, this is amazing. This is an instrument of the ancients. I, aww. I, aww. Max puts the box down on the table and gives Teak a big hug, or at least as big as he can. Even with the wide open arms, he can barely reach over Teak, both of Teak's shoulders. But Teak, you, I don't have anything to give you back. <laughs> it's okay. You've been helping me so much. You fixed all the stuff that I broke in the past, like that chair and those two doors. And I love y y your songs. You're the one and only one who can play music here. You should have it. Okay, y'all. Water time. If you can make more beautiful songs with this new instrument, then that's going to make everyone at Shelter happy. No, it's fucking not! It's like Burry's cooking. You're an amazing musician, and I want, I want to see your talent bloom. Max stands with his arms crossed and laughs like a, with a little blush. Oh, no, 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 I'm really nowhere near amazing yet. I'm barely a beginner, and I'm not humble bragging. I I'm not humble bragging. I, I really am. I'm only dexterous with my hands because I grew up with cats. I'm still, I'm still learning actual music. Well, I like it. I've been humming your melodies during the whole trip. Really? Aw, Teak. <laughs> well, before you set off to your next trip out, come find me in my room anytime. I can play for you. How's that for a payback? Teak freezes for a moment, then laughs nervously and tugs at the collar of his thick coat. <laughs> oh boy, is it just me or is it hot in here? <laughs> of course it is, it's shelter. It's always warm here. Warmed up the power of everyone's hearts? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm gonna... The big dog takes off his gloves in a hurry and starts unbuttoning his coat. After a moment, everyone's graced by the sight of his powerful musculature. Oof, oh boy. Much better. Oh no, Teak, you're wounded! This? Nah, this is nothing. You should have seen me in that fight. The puny monster tried to have a taste of my iron muscles, but instead it fed it a mouthful of my iron. Um... Steel? Yeah, my steel! So, Max, how about you sit down with me and I can tell you everything? Hey! The big dog pats on the spot, packs at the spot at the bench beside him, but he gets interrupted by an old blue healer leaning between him and Max to examine the relics on the table. Hey, Thistle, sir, go away. Barry said you're giving stuff away. Where's my gift? Why do you assume I bought I brought you anything, you crazy old dog fart? Thistle, the short old blue healer dog, raises his wooden walking cane and bonks Teak on top of his head, making a dull sound. The pain doesn't make Teak flinch, but there's anger rising in his eyes. His chest heaves and he lets out a growl rumble in his throat. In the meantime, Rune takes the opportunity to snatch Max's new toy to play with it himself. Seriously, Rune? That's not the way you speak to your elders, pup. 
I'm actually gonna pause it right there. Oh, this is so this is great so far. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. And to also check out that Patreon, y'all. Any support is deeply appreciated. Until next time, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.